and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, faith, and travel. So if those are videos that you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button, check out some of my previous uploads, and make it official. Go ahead and subscribe. So um, today I'm going to do like a little impromptu, like just talking about vacation hairstyles. I don't know what made me think to do this video, but I just thought like, it's that season, you know, we're getting ready for our trips. We got summer coming up, you know, we need to be looking together and be looking right. So my idea was like to think of like the top hairstyles, especially for black African-American women. Like we know our hair is like, I'm already fixing my hair. We know our hair is like so important. Like everyday life, our hair is important, but vacation is like super important because we just not only want to look good, but we know how much work goes into maintaining our hair. So let's talk about it. I have my top hairstyles for vacation, but you guys let me know what you think in the comment down comment section down below. Some of these y'all may be like, really girl? But you know, I like to look good on vacation. Hopefully my wig look good right now. It's, it's a struggle, but we're going to make it. So my number one, my top hairstyle for vacations for trips braids like guys braids just it's easy you don't have you don't have to bring hair tools with you you don't have to um wake up and worry about doing your hair you might style it you know put it up put it down whatever but braids are just it's already done for you so 10 out of 10 i would recommend cornrows single braids i know a lot of girls are doing like the boho locks where you do like the single braids with the curly pieces in it like it's just so easy and it looks good. My only caveat with getting braids, because I actually typically don't get braids for vacation. And the reason is because they don't go with all my outfits. <laughs> I know how impractical that seems, but honestly, when I go on vacation, that's my time to like throw together fits, like take pictures, because I don't get to do that like every day on my everyday life. So. If I have braids, I feel like, well, the braids go with this, but they don't go with this. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like braids is a good hairstyle for um, if you're doing a lot of like water activities or like outdoor activities on your trip, that would be a good time to have braids because you don't wanna have to worry about like your hair getting wet or this or that, like your wig flying off. Like braids is just, it's very easy. So I would, say that is like the number one hairstyle for vacations trips especially when you're doing like a lot of like outdoor activities okay so the second hairstyle is a ponytail now this is why i say this maybe i'm being biased because i just look good in a sleek ponytail like i just look so good i remember um the second year i went to vegas because i go to vegas like every year y'all know i love vegas the second year i went to vegas so many people complimented me on like just how good I looked and I wasn't even like wearing anything special but the ponytail like my face was just pulled you could see my face like it just it goes with every outfit too that's what I like about a sleek ponytail now the reason why I say it's impractical because if you're like me you have African-American 4C I don't even know what texture my hair is but it's African-American hair Nigerian to be specific and I um <laughs> I I know that my hair gets very frizzy but when I have a ponytail, I, I want to say like the first three days, she looked good. After that though, it's, it's time to take it down. So I think ponytails are really good for like a quick trip. Like you're going to like, maybe like in the States or like you're going for a quick, you're going for a quick trip, no more than four days. You know this, the ponytail is going to go with all your outfits. You don't have to worry about it. It sleeks back, it's out of your face. You know, it just... Maybe I'm being biased again because ponytails just look good on me, but I would suggest you try ponytails. Another option is I see um, now, maybe I'm behind, but I've been seeing more like frontal ponytails. The only thing with that is that if you don't know how to maintain a frontal, which I don't, you're going to have to be gluing it down. Like, Okay, the third one I'm going to say is closure wigs. Notice how I specifically said closure wigs. The reason being is that Closure wigs are super easy. Even if you end up gluing yours down or you don't want to glue them down, they're super easy. I know some girls don't wear wigs at all. And I would say to you, go try a wig. Wig, like it doesn't have to be um, 
virgin or raw hair it could be a, a synthetic wig let me tell you something wigs will save your life because number one say you wanted to get your braids done but your hairstylist failed you which you know we all have our if we've all had an issue with the hairstylist maybe not like a serious issue maybe like your hairstylist ca cancels on you and your vacations like in 24 hours if you have a wig as a backup i'm telling you you at least have something to see you, you you at least can say i have something to put on my head because like i said at the beginning of this video when it comes to our hair and vacation it is so important so i don't want to ever be in a situation where my hair stylist has canceled my appointment with me and i have nothing to do to my hair always have a wig as a backup okay that is like a life rule <laughs> always have a wig as a backup the wig i'm wearing right now is from omg her hair i've had it since january we're in april this is one of them wigs that just you know i can just throw on and i know i'm gonna be good i can get done whatever i need to get done if i need to go out and look good i can throw this on um i'm still learning the ways of the frontal but i will say close that's why i said closure wigs are so easy um i watched this one girl's vlog she's your fave i love her love her hair videos and her vlogs she had like she went to she went on a trip and she had two wigs with her she had one where she like kind of did her side part with like bouncy curls and then she had one that was like a bust down middle part but it had crimps in it and i was like that is so smart honestly i don't like to bring hair tools with me on vacation y'all let me show y'all this i got this small little straightener for vacation pointless I don't look like pointless maybe a small little hot comb and maybe it's because it's from the beauty supply store and it's really not like the best quality but i just feel like if i'm gonna style my hair on vacation i'm gonna bring my tools with me but with that being said you have to be prepared to pack that and you have to be ready to pack like for like extra luggage you know what i'm saying and then what if your luggage gets lost you see what i'm saying like to me, closure wigs are great because one, you can style them and put them in your little baggie and keep it. So when you get on your trip, whatever wig you decide to wear, you want to wear your straight bust on middle part, it's already styled. You want to curl your hair, well, you're probably going to have to bring a curler. Um, I have seen girls do sock, sock curls even on the plane. I've seen that a lot and I'm like, we thinking, we think it's smart, not harder because don't nobody want to have to carry a hot comb, a curler, a straightener. Like, that's too much. If you got the money for the extra luggage, though, do it. Because you're going to be, you, you're going to get your hair done. Just, I, I also don't want to spend time doing my hair on vacation. I don't know, you guys. You tell me what you think. Um, also, these have saved my life. I don't know how many, what inch this is. I'm going to have to find out and put it in the video for you guys. Flexi rods okay say you do want to curl your hair on vacation say you do wake up early and you do have time to do your hair on vacation flexi rods i generally like to flexi rod my hair after curling but you can also bring like a mousse and run it through your hair and then like curl them with flexi rods though those flexi rod curls be lasting so if you don't want to take hot tools with you but you want your hair curled a certain way flexi rods okay um so yeah Closure wigs are great. You can bring more than one with you. You can bring um, synthetic wig. If you want to get a wig, like a synthetic wig, um, just for like, oh, you're going to go jet skiing or you're going to go swim or whatever. And you just want to throw that thing on and just be cute, get yourself a closure wig. Um, I don't know how to swim. So the truth is I don't swim on vacation. Like I do jet ski and I do some stuff, but I don't, you will never see me immersed in water. <laughs> You'll never see me do it. I don't know how like black girls specifically do it where they like leave their hair out. I would not recommend any style where your hair is left out if you're going to be in your water. Just just save yourself the trouble. I know we want to look cute, but let's, let's be practical. Um, so yeah, close your wigs. If you are a frontal girl, if you know how to lay a frontal, if it's nothing to you, if you can pack this stuff and you can get you frontal wigs like it's easy it's easy for you but if you're like me and you just mm, you still a novice at it get yourself a good closure wig i will definitely um 
do a video where I talk about a vendor I have been testing out because I would rather have a really good quality hair over a synthetic wig because I know that hair will last me. Like, imagine getting like high quality hair and being able to use that hair over and over again than just oh, throwing a synthetic wig or throwing away this wig from AliExpress away. So, okay, the last one, the last hairstyle that I would 10 out of 10 recommend is a sew-in with no leave-out. You guys already heard how I feel about leave-out. I just think it's super impractical. I don't want to have to be frying my hair on vacation. Um, yeah, it's just a no for me. I The less heat, me personally, that I apply on my hair, the better. The less I have to see my hair, the better. So a good sew-in, get yourself an appointment with a good hairstylist who is reliable, who won't cancel on you. Get yourself some good bundles and get a sew-in. I would recommend a sew-in for like longer vacations. So like you're gonna be gone for like six to seven days and you want something in your hair where you don't have to worry about it. I feel like a sew-in would be perfect. Um, and you just don't have to look at your hair. You can style it if you want to, but as far as like, like installing anything, you don't have to do that. You would just have to straighten it, curl it, whatever. Um, so yeah, you guys, what do you guys think? Or do, you, do you think that these are hairstyles that you would do on vacation? I personally have, well, I have done everything except for, oh no, I have done a sewing when I went to New York. Um, yeah, I've done all of these hairstyles and I always look good. <laughs> like I always, I always know that it's gonna look good. I'm also someone who like, I will see what hairstyles go with the outfits that I pack. So I never am like worried how I'm gonna look. I always already know. It's just a matter of like planning ahead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't see anything like this on the internet. Like I saw a video with like the best crochet hairstyles and I'm like, I don't wanna wear crochet braids on vacation. They just don't, they've never looked realistic to me. So it's just never been my thing. But um, I think for a girl like me, it's more practical. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. Um, until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Black, 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 black.